Hello everyone, this is Jacob Goji here, and today I'm back with another review. So this time we're going to be reviewing the Playmates Destroya. So Destroya comes from the 1995 film Godzilla vs. Destroya. Yeah, it's a fantastic film and you should go check it out. And you can find this guy at Walmart for like $13 along with the other figures. And for me, this was probably one of the hardest figures to find. Well, Gigan and Kong, the six inch Kong, were kind of hard to, <gasps> were kind of hard to find. And so it's Destroya. And I have to be honest, this figure's not as bad as the other figures. I mean, Shin Godzilla and Space Godzilla are the only ones that are bad. But this one, eh, I say it's alright. Alright now, let's get started with, with the review. First, let's take a look at Sculpt and Paint. So you can see it with the Sculpt. The Sculpt is a retool of the Bandai Japan Destroya, but except they just made the proportions a little bit different. Well, I mean, he's kind of in a walking pose. And then we have, and his tail's a little, little bit more curl, curly this time. And then, well, the face is, I mean, the head sculpt is the same, and then the wings are the same as the Bandai Japan Destroya, but they kind of made the arms a little bit squished in. Yeah, but the thing I don't like about it is that, while well, his t his toes look a little bit too short, he look like marshmallow feet. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, so he's painted like a dark red. So, which how he was in the movie, so let's go over a paint job. Now, the paint job at least looks decent. Well, I mean, I do like the paint job in the eyes, but the teeth just looks, eh. Well, I... I mean, I just wish, I mean, the teeth kind of look lazy, but they should just, like, took their time painting the teeth. And then the tusks aren't fully painted. That's another problem. Well, I mean, and then the sides of his heads are, his head is uh, painted like a bright red, which at least looks, I think, alright. And then he kind of has a banana horn. <laughs> yeah, I don't like the way how the horn looks, but I mean... But, and I also got scuffed paint on mines. And then the paint job on the chest, um, I think the paint job right here looks pretty good. And then the paint job on the nails are decent, but at least they're fully painted, unlike the band I destroy ya. Yeah, the paint job on the nails are pretty good, but when we get down to the toenails, they're not fully painted. Yeah. And then the paint job on the wings, well, I do like the paint job on the wings, I mean... They're like a bright red. But I feel like they forgot the color in these part of the wings. Yeah. And then here we have the back. So on the back of the figure, it's just painted orange like the Bandai Japan Destroya. And then here's the tail. Yep, it just... So it starts off right here, the orange, and then fades away. Yep. But I think the only problem is that I just wish they just covered up this part because... I don't know. Oh, sorry, sorry about that. Well, his this part of the of his uh legs is just kind of a gap. Well, I just wish they just fixed that part. So overall, sculpt is a retool of the Bandai Japan Destroya, and the paint job is at least decent. Starting off with articulation, so you can move the head. Yeah, unlike the Bandai Japan Destroya, I mean this guy has more articulation. And you can move the arms just like the Bandai Creation Destroya. Then you can move the legs. And then you can move the feet. And then you can move the tail as well. And then you can move the tip of the tail. And for the wings, well, you can move the wings up and down. Yeah, you can put them, you can put it folded. Or you can have them spread out. Not only that, but but you can also spread out these part of the wings as well, which is pretty cool. Yeah, that's one thing I like about this figure is that you can actually get the wings to spread out like this. Yep. So that's all for articulation. Time to go over plastic quality. <sighs> now, just like the other figures, I'm still not a fan of these type of plastic qualities because just they just feel cheap. Just like how, just like the other figures. Yeah, well the plastic does feel cheap, but I mean, 
his arms are kind of made of like a soft plastic and his head is kind of a soft plastic but I mean his wings are made of a soft rubber yeah they're made of they're, they're the only thing that's vinyl and this is a soft plastic right here the tip of the tail and the feet as well so yep yeah. well even though I just wish the plastic quality was better so yep yeah. That's all for plastic quality. Now we're going to compare it to the Bandai Destroya. The Bandai Japan, I mean. So as you can see here, well, their faces look pretty different. Well, I mean, the, the faces may look the same, but I mean, this one has like probably a bigger head. And then the horns are more spread out. This part, the spikes are more spread out. And then... The horns are almost the same. Yeah, so basically, it's a retool of the Bandai Japan Destroyer, but bigger. But, and then we have the chest paint. Yep, this one's kind of yellow, and this one's kind of a yellow orc color. And then we have the legs. Well, the Bandai is in the standing pose, and then the Playmates is like in a battle stance. Yep, and then we have the feet. Well... They're a little bit too short on this one, but I prefer the feet on the Bandai more. And then here we have the back. Yeah, the back has like, they're basically the same, but I mean, at least the, these part of the wings are not molded to the figure like this guy. And the tails. Now the tails are pretty different. Well, the tails may look the same, but just kind of modified it a little bit. So... Which one do you like better? Honestly, I like the Bandai better. Still, while well, this figure, I mean, the Playmates Destroy, I mean, it does look alright, but, I mean, it just, just has some flaws and just still could have been better. So, yeah, I say I like Bandai better. Time for final thoughts. So, what do I think of this figure? Overall, it's, a, it's an okay figure, but I just wish it could have been better. Like, I wish the horn was better and... The paint job could have been better. I mean, the paint job does look decent, but I just wish they fixed the feet, like, because they look too stubby. Yeah, so, overall, it's an okay figure, and then if you can, if you want it, you can pick it up, but if you don't, then don't pick it up. Alright? So, yeah, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this review. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.